Well, now to financial fears in Highland Park as the city struggles with outstanding water debt. Last week, the Michigan Supreme Court ruled that Highland Park is on the hook for $24 million in outstanding water and sewerage fees from a case dating back to 2014. But now Highland Park's debt has grown to over $56 million. Today, Governor Gretchen Whitmer responded to that Michigan Supreme Court ruling. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Russell has her reaction and what city leaders could do. When you take a look at U.S. Census Bureau data, Highland Park back in 1990 was more than 20,000 residents. Now it's less than 9,000. Talking to residents who have been here for decades, there is a lot of concern. This court judgment when it comes to water and sewer fees could force more people out. Lawrence Johnson has lived in Highland Park for more than 50 years and seen thousands leave. Still, he's investing in his restaurant, the Woodward Avenue Bar and Grill, to help create a new Highland Park. It's a blank canvas. But Johnson is concerned about the mark, the state Supreme Court ruling, confirming that Highland Park must pay at least $24 million in unpaid water and sewer fees will leave on that canvas. He understands bills need to be paid, but says residents have limited resources. For it to be spread amongst the residents and the businesses that are uh, currently doing business in Highland Park will put a, a real strain on everybody and kind of almost uh, like force, try and force people out. I went to the city of Highland Park to ask leaders what's next. Security gave me a phone number to call and no one spoke to me. The city of Highland Park issued a statement after the court decision calling money owed manufactured overcharges. It says that it's unjust for 2,000 households with a median income of $20,000 a year to have to pay 17.5% of that median income to water and sewer fees. Now both Highland Park and the 111 communities that fund the Great Lakes Water Authority are wondering, how will that money be collected? It's a fairness issue. You know, for quite some time, you know, we were paying that debt. Nobody wants to go into bankruptcy. Nobody wants to talk about, you know, insolvency. Uh, but at some point in time, you got to come to the realization, you know, your community is, is struggling. I would certainly uh, think that the governor, the state of Michigan, really needs to think about an emergency manager for Highland Park. Governor Gretchen Whitmer, in the meantime, says she does not know yet what she will do. I'm working with our state treasurer to understand what the potential uh, paths could be, and, and we're, we're taking a hard look at it. The message from people who care about Highland Park and live here, they understand that bills need to be paid, but they say this city needs a sustainable future. In Highland Park, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much, Kim.